G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife again. And uh, with me today we've got Peter, one of our little ringtail possums that's a member of the wildlife education team here. And uh, today I wanted to talk about a strange fact with our ringtail possums. But before I do, I wanted to give a quick shout out to a little tacker who came to one of our shows the other day, Thomas Cleary. Uh, apparently you've been watching all our videos. So uh, thank you very much. Keep watching and, and keep coming and checking us out at shows, buddy. But uh, back to ringtail possums. Now, these guys are pretty famous for eating mum's roses and, and dad's tomatoes and all the, the yummy plants that we brought over from Europe. But before we brought over all these soft, yummy English plants, uh, ringtail possums lived entirely on native foliage, obviously, and the vast majority of that was things like eucalyptus. Now, when we think of animals that eat eucalyptus, the first thing that comes to mind is the koala. Now, not many other animals eat it, and there's a pretty good reason. You see, it's a horrible food to live off. There's virtually no energy. There's next to no protein. The only real advantage is you've got no competition because nobody else wants it. But uh, the koala gets around these issues by investing as little energy as possible into life. He, he doesn't have a big brain, so he doesn't have to use any energy for that. And he doesn't move much. But the ringtail possum's got a, a different way of getting around the energy deficit from eucalyptus. What they do is they'll spend their nights running around picking all the nice soft tips off each branch. And uh, when they go back to their nest the next day, they'll eat their own poo. Yeah. So basically, by ingesting the gum leaves twice, it does two circuits around their digestive system, enabling them to get as much energy as possible out of the gum leaves. So it's a pretty unique adaptation, but it's a pretty desperate way to, to get your lunch. So I don't really blame them for munching on the roses and, and the odd apple, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. So like always guys, for more YouTube videos, please subscribe, like our, our YouTube channel. Uh, check us out at Facebook or www.wickedwildlife.com. Again, if you've got any questions, please shoot us a message. We're always happy to make a video and, and answer them as best as we can. Other than that, guys, have a good one and take care. Mm -hmm.